and gentlemen, namaskar. Welcome to the 16th edition of the Jaipur Literature Festival protected by Dettol Banega Swast India at the Hawthornden Foundation Mughal Tent. We are about to in unveil uh, uh, what I consider to be a very important book. Um, first edition, A Pathway from Hygiene to Wellness, launched by Dettol Banega Swast India and this will be followed by a, the launch will be followed by a digital photo exhi exhibition. Curated by Outlook and Reckitt, this special coffee table book, A Pathway from Hygiene to Wellness, focuses on India's journey from universal hygiene to protect, heal, and nurture in the relentless pursuit of a cleaner and healthier world. Edited by Mr. Ravi Bhatnagar, Director, External Affairs and Partnerships, South Asia Reckitt, as guest editor, this book is written by some of the top policymakers and leading practitioners from diverse backgrounds, including Mr. Amitabh Kant, G20 Sherpa, uh, Mr. Gaurav Ch Jain, Execu Executive Vi Vice President, South Asia Reckitt, Mr. Shombi Sharp, UN Resident Coordinator in India, Dr. Swami Soumya Swaminathan, former Chief Scientist and Secretary, Health Research, Government of India, Mr. Akshay Raut, Senior Fellow, NITI IOG, Ms. Nena Lal Kidwai, Chair, Indian San India Sanitation Coalition, Dr. Randeep Guleria, Chairman, Institute of Internal Medicine and Respiratory and Sleep Medicine, Medanta, Dr. Poonam Khetrapal Singh, WHO Regional Director for Southeast Asia, Swami Chidanand Saraswati, Co-Founder, co uh, Global Interface, WA. ASH Alliance, Sadhvi Bhagwati Saraswati, Secretary General Global Interfaith, Wa Interfaith Wash Alliance, Advocate Nandan Jha, Secretary General Gandhi Mandela Foundation, Mr. Mohammad Asif, uh, Executive Director, Plan International India Chapter, Mr. Dilain Gandhi, Marketing Director, Health and Nutrition, South Asia, Reckitt, and Dr. Komal Goswami, COP, Plan India. Um, to launch the book, uh, may, I, uh, uh, may I invite onto the stage Dr. Ms. Upma Chaudhary, IAS retired, former secretary to the Government of India and director of the Lad Bahadur Shastri National Ac Academy of Administration, Missouri, and board member Plan India. Mr. Ravi Bhatnagar, director Exter external affairs and partnerships, South Asia, Reckitt. Joining us virtually is Mr. Amitabh Kant, G20 Sherpa. Um, and uh, we hope to be joined by uh, Mr. William Darampol shortly, but I think I'd like to invite um, our guest to unveil the book. told we will be joined by Sanjay Roy shortly. Um, I would now like to invite the speakers to say a few words. Um, uh, we'll start with uh, Mr. Amitabh Khan. Well, let me uh, first congratulate uh, both Outlook and Reckitt for this uh, outstanding production of uh, From Hygiene to Wellness, uh, which is uh, so critical. I would also like to compliment Reckitt for uh, uh, undertaking this challenge on uh, through its Detol Banayaga uh, Swast India for a long, long period. I've been a participant in many of their uh, programs on several channels. Uh, this is critical because I've been a long-term believer that hygiene is the key to good health. And uh, the government of India has laid a lot of stress on preventive care. And uh, it has focused on uh, both health and wellness centers, about 150,000 of them in the first phase at the grassroots level, as well as uh, 
the Pradhan Mantri Jan Arugya Yojana, which is a cashless, paperless scheme to ensure citizens. But my belief always has been that nobody should reach the stage of getting insurance. Uh, we may have the best insurance scheme in the world, but nobody should uh, reach that stage where he has to avail of an insurance scheme. And the key to that is maintaining good hygiene, which should lead to good wellness. And uh, therefore, this book, which has some very outstanding authors uh, writing for it, uh, uh, is a remarkable work. And uh, I would like everyone to access this. And this has to become a huge grassroots movement in terms of hygiene, because that is really the key to good wellness, good health. And uh, actually, uh, we would be delighted to take the learnings from this book to all the aspirational districts of India, and so that hygiene spreads across India. And these districts then become the model for growth. Uh, actually, the aspirational blocks program has also been launched, and I would request Reckitt to become a very active participant so that this movement spreads across all the, uh, these are backward blocks and backward districts. We don't call them backward, we call them aspirational. And that will make a huge impact on the lives of citizens of India. So my compliments again to Outlook and Reckitt, uh, to the distinguished guests here. Upma is here, who's a colleague of mine. Uh, Plan India is a very distinguished uh, non-governmental organization, so they can spearhead this. So again, congratulations. I'm delighted to be a part of this launch. Um, I would now uh, like to invite Ms. Upma Chaudhary to say a few words. A very good afternoon to you all here. It is indeed an honor to be the guest of honor at the launch of Reckitt's Coffee Table book. At an event as significant as the Jaipur Lit Fest on a subject that is so very relevant, so current, and so critical. And to be here to do all that as a member of the governing board of Plan International India chapter. It is incumbent upon me in my capacity as a member to share just a wee bit about the work that Plan does. Plan, a nationally registered not-for-profit, has delivered very significantly in the WASH sector. We have developed infrastructure in 1,000 plus schools. Our hygiene and wellness initiatives are spread across more than 100 districts across the country. We are one of the pioneer organizations that advocated and very strongly for separate toilets and even separate hand washing stations for both boys and girls. And PLAN has been a proud and a steady partner for Reckitt, for, its, for the implementation of its mega project, Ditol Swast Banega India. I congratulate Reckitt for this launch and hope that the partnership between Plan and Reckitt gains in strength and continues to enhance the quality of lives that it touches. The first edition of A Pathway from Hygiene to Wellness is truly impressive in its content, scope, depth, the array of, may I say, 15 A-list contributors, most importantly, its aspirations and its promise of possibilities. Reflective of the association with Reckitt, Two of the articles have been authored and co-authored by executives from Plan India, Muhammad Asif and Dr. Komal Goswami. Building upon the hygiene-based approach of the first edition, I am encouraged to share a couple of reflections, four to be exact. First, we don't need a global pandemic that kills millions to make us understand the basic relationship between hygiene and health and wellness. Hopefully, COVID-19 will be a catalyst for long-term and probably irreversible changes in more ways than one. Second, it is so true that hygiene is not complex, 
that hygiene is not complicated in its practice and adherence. In fact, the very ordinariness of hygienic practices may ironically deflect from their significance and importance. I was the National Control Officer as Joint Secretary in the Government of India when we had the first outbreak of avian influenza, bird flu, in the year 2005. Of course, we mounted the rigorous control and containment protocols in the zones where, uh, which were affected. But what were the basic hygiene-related messages that were being issued at, as advisories? Wash your hands properly. Wash your hands repeatedly. Cook your eggs well. Cook your chicken well. Similarly, the advisories for COVID-19 were that simple and that basic. Third, the One Health approach. It has to gain traction to achieve optimal health outcomes and to recognize that the health of the people is clearly and intrinsically linked to the health of animals in a shared environment. And last but not the least, for all this, where is the locus of control? I quote from what Rohini Nilakani just said in a session with Veer Sangwi, citizens cannot just be the consumers of good governance. Citizens have to co-create good governance. A pathway from hygiene to wellness as we continue to build momentum for the long haul. The significant next steps in the journey is for the pathway to become a thoroughfare. Open, inclusive, and accessible. And it does not need to be tomorrow. Thank you. And now I would like to invite Mr. Ravi Bhatnagar to say a few words. Thank you so much, Mr. Khan. Thank you so much, Upmaji. Uh, this is our privilege to actually bring 15 A-listed authors together. Uh, and our promise to India is to reach out to all the aspirational blocks. Currently, we reach out to all 100% aspirational districts in India. And uh, we're, we are bringing, you know, uh, more strength by the virtue of uh, having engagement with uh, various people from various disciplines the ethnographers, the anthropologists, the, uh, the social scientists, the public health specialists, so that, you know, uh, there will be a strong social return uh, on investment on the work what we have been doing. We're very privileged to work with uh, the team at Plan India, and we're very proud of our association. Uh, it's interesting to hear, like, you know, uh, by the virtue of the work, uh, the Melghat region, which is one of the tribal regions in the state of Maharashtra, witnessed zero under five deaths because of serial malnutrition. And this was made possible because of the approaches and the design philosophy, uh, which is human-centric design, which is a very clear reflection which comes from this particular book which we have launched today, which is a pathway from the hygiene to wellness. I will end by saying, we totally believe in leaving no one behind. When we say leaving no one behind, we are, we are standing with the binaries, we are standing with the non-binaries. We, we don't differentiate between the caste, culture, religion, uh, social strata, and many other things. And we aim to make sure the uh, urban, rural, tribal divide on the health outcomes goes down. And we stand with the government of India, and we feel very proud. We are in this very moment of G20, where India is a G20 host, and we have our own our G20 Sherpa, Mr. Kant, with us today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to our speakers. Um, we would now. I'd like to ask the team to uh, to start our photo exhibition now. Did all with germ defense? Is ki kya zarurat hai? Huh? 
मुझे क्या जरूरत सामान तो सारा घर बैठे ही आ जाता है और धूल मिट्टी तो आजकल जैसे खत्म ही हो गई है और बच्चे तो सब कुछ स्कूल में ही सीखते हैं है ना तो ये जो इतने बीमारी वाले जर्म्स आए हैं उनका क्या अरे रे, समझ गया इसीलिए मेरा भरोसा सिर्फ डेटॉल विद जर्म डिफेंस ये रखे मुझे और मेरे परिवार को बीमारी फैलाने वाले जर्म ऐसी सुरक्षित पूरे परिवार की सुरक्षा रोजाना डेटॉल बी हंड्रेड परसेंट श्योर डिफेंस इसकी क्या जरूरत है हाँ मुझे क्या जरूरत सामान तो सारा घर बैठे ही आ जाता है और धूल मिट्टी तो आजकल जैसे खत्म ही हो गई है और बच्चे तो सब कुछ स्कूल में ही सीखते हैं है ना तो ये जो इतने बीमारी वाले जर्म्स आए हैं उनका क्या अरे रे, समझ गया इसीलिए मेरा भरोसा सिर्फ डेटॉल विद जर्म डिफेंस ये रखे मुझे और मेरे परिवार को बीमारी फैलाने वाले जर्म ऐसी सुरक्षित पूरे परिवार की सुरक्षा रोजाना डेटॉल बी हंड्रेड परसेंट श्योर थैंक यू सो मच टू आर स्पीकर 
and for that um, photo exhibition as well. But I'd like to, I'd like to thank our speakers, uh, Mr. Amitabh Khan, Ms. Um, uh, Upma Chaudhary, and Mr. Ravi Bhatnagar, and, uh, and our partner, Detlal Banega Swast India, uh, for the launch of this very, very important book. Thank you all. <laughs>